so you guys seem to really enjoy the last video with the first time me having checked out nascar so we're gonna carry on because it was actually pretty good and i kind of want to get into it a little bit more so why not you know might as well just watch some more videos so this was called nascar great racing battles and finishes i mean even the title alone is pretty exhilarating so i'm gonna get my ass over here in the corner and we're gonna start watching so pretty excited to get into it let's go man stop talking bro <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go. Matt Kenseth playing defense. Here he for goes. Joe He's Gibbs. there. They're both there. Gordon. But Kozlowski has the spot on the outside. Gordon had to check up. He bumped into the back of Matt. And that allowed Jeez, the two man. to get to the outside. But here comes the 22 on the bottom. Yeah, God Matt deep. Kenseth almost you know, got... I would really appreciate getting this from you guys. Like the the main appeal, I really want to know the main appeal in regards to NASCAR itself because I think you guys can see from a different perspective that someone might say they're just going in a circle, right? And from obviously someone who isn't passionately invested into the sport, like what makes it so good? And I imagine that's subjective to an extent. But what would you say the main uh reason is, or your comeback in regards to someone saying like they're just going in a circle, bruh? You know what I mean? But yeah, this is uh the the pretty neck like the commentator said everyone's neck and neck. I mean, let me just see how it falls. You might find me being quiet for quite a bit, but let's see. Got in too deep. He's got oh! Brandon Price. Wow, well, hang on to her, buddy. That Jesus. two car was all over the place. He almost got turned around as his teammate Logano guns for the and lead Logano. and takes Gordon with him. Logano goes to the oh, lead. Oh, he's off. Whoa. And Jeff Gordon is. Whoa, guns did he just? And and takes Gordon with him. Logano goes Bro, to the I'm, lead. Guys, I'm sorry. I just want to see how the hell he just peeled off like that. It was just. That two car was all over Jeez. the place. He almost got turned around as his teammate Logano guns for the and lead Logano. and takes Gordon. That inside lead, I suppose. And Jeff Gordon is there. <laughs> He is under and past Matt Kenseth. Whoa! I'm confused. Is it mainly just because he went in on the inside lane, or do they just have like a better car than most of the other competitors? Like, because uh, why didn't anyone else accelerate? Especially the car that was in the front, the orange car, orange and black. He was near the front, near the start. And then boom, yeah. Inside lane played a part, I think. And Jeff Gordon is there. He is under and past Matt Kenseth. Whoa! Jeez, the dude just gave the 20 a huge shot. And, and here comes Kyle, Kyle Busch on the inside. He's coming, bro. He no. Four fresh tires, Kyle Busch has it. That's the part of it. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm back in line. I'm just saying what makes sense is the... the to be fair, was it the car in second place that had the fresh tires? As it was mentioned in the reason as to why he was closing the gap. But I imagine that probably did play a part. The car that was in front having fresher tires, perhaps. And then fucking zooming off like that. As opposed to the other cars that might have had uh, tires that hadn't been changed yet for a while. Let's keep going. The big push by Justin Algar up the middle. Jeez, the designs are cool, man. I like them on the cars. Jeez. And Kyle Larson's trying to dig through all this. Four wide. I think they might have been five wide. How big of a mess is that? <laughs> Holy cow. Larson being shown 15th, a couple of laps after he restarted outside the top 25. So Look at that, the sounds. Spots <laughs> since we last went green. Bro, I'm not, I'm, I don't really watch NASCAR like that. Obviously, you guys should know about that. Just looking at the channel, but I'm, I'm feeling some of the energy, bro. Those whoops, they're authentic as fuck, bro. I'm feeling it. Larson down to the very Jeez, bottom. It's the, the sound of the car, bro. Now in the red seven up the middle. This is crazy great racing, guys. Gosh, it is pretty I love sweet. The it almost looks like a video game. Look at all these cars. You it's will nice. not see a better race all year than today with the Xfinity Series. And finally, Fair play. Oh, wow, Kyle Larson drove it down in turn three. Now, how does he do that? It looked like he's going 20 yeah. miles an hour. How did he do oh, that? Wow. You will not see a better race all year than today with the Xfinity Series. And finally, Jeez. Oh, wow, Kyle Larson drove it down in turn Guys, what is up with that? Yeah. Is it just a case of hitting the accelerator a little bit harder? Because I would like to imagine that this car in the red is probably going as fast as he, as he can, unless if he's maybe on a bend. The fact that this car can just kind of push past them, or, or is it, what's the, um, that mechanic with the wind? Uh, slipstream. Is it slipstream as well? Let me just have a look. Was he directly behind okay, look at the all car? these cars. You will not see a better race all year than today with the Xfinity Series. He's perhaps and not, but oh, damn. Wow, Kyle Larson drove it down in turn three. Now, how does he do that? It looks like yeah. he's going 20 miles an hour faster than the competition. 
Yo, White bro. flag trying to end a 101 race winless streak for car owner Jack Roush is Ricky Stenhouse. Jeez. Look at this, four wide. Oh Everybody wants to get to the front. I just what don't see how that's going to work out. Side drafter for McMurray on Casey Kane. He's going to get to the rear bumper. Arco in the middle between Jimmy Johnson and Kyle. That was sweet. That was nice. Look at the red car, yeah? Right here. Woo! No, that's sweet. That's nice. Can he block? Can he block all of them coming at once? Five wide. Work the blue. Work it. Last lap. Ah. Push into McMurray. That is some good racing because the car in front, like the commentator is saying, is he can he block everyone who's behind him? That in itself is an insane skill. And I wonder what lap this was as well, to be honest. Because if it's in the early laps or the late laps, let's see. It doesn't say. Okay. Fair play, bro. Shit. Oh, last lap. Sorry, guys. Nice. Good racing, man. Three wide here. They come off turn four. This is the finish these fans came and stayed for. <laughs> oh my Ricky God. Ricky <laughs> Stenhouse, the pride of all at France, Look Mississippi. At him. Top to bottom. Kyle Busch to the outside gets blocked by Stenhouse. Here no, I hope he actually Stenhouse wins though. Oh. <laughs> what a run. Oh, nice, man. Fuck four, it up. I have no idea who dude is, but I was rooting for him anyway, man. Fair play. Good racing, bro. This time by. We're side by side coming to the wide. It doesn't get any better than this. I need the trucks. Consider trucks. Truck back. Big back. Whether it be the caution or the checker, advantage Casey Kane into one. I wouldn't imagine that these cars design design is uh, faster than the one in the previous clip or the one that's commonly seen as normal, if you would. But uh, if I am incorrect, please let me know because I think that will be interesting as hell, bro. Jones stays right there, right in this quarter panel. They're dead even off a of two. Jeez. This is intense. Those guys want it so bad. Who's going to have the advantage? Oh, quickly King as fuck, dude. Front as they come off a of turn four. Jones trying to power to the outside. Here they come, back to the start finish line. Eee! It's going to be a photo finish, sliding sideways. Was that it, the line. Casey Kane wins it in Charlotte and a huge Dude, crash. Hold on. How did he crash? Oh, he just, bro, he just spiraled. I'm sorry, talking the same time as commentator. But yeah, he, he just. It's going to be a photo finish, sliding sideways at the line. Casey Kane wins it in Charlotte and a huge crash. Damn. Damn. By one thousandth of a second, Casey Kane sideways gets the victory. Oh, bro! Imagine you're in the yellow car. And you think you? I think to be. I think to be fair, you would probably just be able to see that you might have just lost. But imagine thinking you've won, bro. Like you're so. You're like, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then you hear in the intercoms. By the way, you just came in second place. Fuck. <laughs> I'd be so pissed, bro. But hey, second ain't too bad. At least you're not finishing like. Wait, to be honest, it depends, right? Depends. Does second place feel worse than maybe coming, so let's say, like 17th or like 18th? Because if you're in 18th or 17th, you're like, yeah, I'm here, but like, someone in 13th didn't get shit as well, really. Someone in 7th, they haven't got like, you know, the gold, the silver, bronze type system where they usually have in competitions in places or whatever, right? On the podium and shit. So if you're in that position, you're like, yeah, it's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? But if you're then like in second place, would you be more pissed? Like, oh, I'm the first to lose, essentially. <laughs> That's when that phrase comes into question, and I'm the first to lose, bro. But hey, you know what? They, they're doing something I could never do, so I can never make fun of anyone who, who comes in any place anyway. So, uh, wow, GG's. GG's. That's a nice looking track. Seemed more like country signs for a second there. These are pretty nice as well. The, these cars, uh, the design for these cars, I would imagine this one because it's a bit more like, it seems, it, I perceive it as being slightly lower. Not, ju not done just the previous, but the ones before that one, those more seem like they have a fat, kind of stacky, built kind of girth type thing going on. But these ones, they're more like, sleep streaming you know i'd imagine these ones perhaps go faster just given how they look perhaps you know aerodynamics and all that yeah
<laughs> Jeez. Is he pushing him? Kozlowski's got a problem. Oh, dude. Trying to stay with Ambrose. Two final corners. Do they use... Well, maybe the cars are just the same and I'm tripping, bro, you know? It's possible. A nudge, a push. Can Ambrose save it? To the checkered flag. Who gets here first? Ambrose, nine. Kozlowski, two. Jeez. GG's, buddy. GG's, man. The hell do you want to see? What? Ambrose Keselowski. <laughs> Someone who knows these names off the heart is like, bro, it's not even that difficult. Yeah, bro, come on. Keselowski. Keselowski? You know, Kyle Broflowski. Broflowski? I watch a lot of South Park, so I remember uh, Kyle Broflowski, and, and then his name. Keselowski. Kelly, Kelly Lowski? Oh, Jesus. Let me, let me get back to the race watching, bro. Here comes the 20th Matt Kenseth. Can't do it. He just doesn't have enough of a push. He's going to have to back up to that. Jeez, how many are racing at the same time? He wants that four car to help him. Here he goes. Next flag ends the race. I just don't think he can do it from the outside. Damn. Everyone's keeping it together, though. I wonder if, like, it is possible to get lapped, right? But like at this, I suppose even at this level, there's still massive skill gaps, obviously, isn't it? But I think I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt in saying that everyone within the top level, let's say perhaps there's 20 racers, that even the 20th racer should still be significantly good enough to at least not get lapped. But sometimes the skill gap is just so ridiculous that it's possible so i wonder if that happens if often at all uh in nascar gotta run down the back it's gonna be a drag race off turn four but i just don't see him being able to pull it off he's jeez he's blocking him uh no g oh <laughs> green from the front okay the lime green from the front all the way to near enough fifth in a second jeez oh uh, more than fifth mate <laughs> i'm sorry for laughing bro she didn't laugh shit he's probably pissed Yeesh. by an inch that is crazy by the way what's with the numbers besides the cars I've, I've actually always wondered that as well like what's what's the deal with that yeah tell me please it's a take no prisoners battle elliot presses earnhardt through every turn of the racetrack but dale holds ground coming out of turn four the two come together again and earnhardt is into the grass in jeez display of driving prowess Earnhardt not only keeps control, but he holds on to the lead. Whoa, so all these cars aren't the same for the most part, right? This car is clearly different to the one that's behind it. I'm going to conclude that to it being perhaps the time in which this was shot, that there wasn't like, I don't know, there might have been organizations, but it wasn't a, a rule that everyone had to have a similar design or car, or everyone hadn't figured out the top design for best for this type of racing but these cars yeah they're, they're different right am i bugging they are different jeez dude yeah jeez that inside lane is always deadly, bro. Let's say you're in the front, you're trying to block the guy coming in on the right. Someone just real on that inside lane. Goodbye. See you later. Don't damn that music is hitting though. Oh no! Come on! As soon as I say the music's hitting, bro. Come on! Nah, come on! Can't do that. Not close enough. Nope. Tony's right where he needs to be, man. 
See if he can make a gain. It's all about getting off of this corner. He gets in there good. Oh, he missed nice. a little bit. He's not gonna be able to get around. Uh oh. Oh, Hamlin. he wheel hopping. He's gonna Hamlin hit him. Hamlin is there. He hit what him. Just happened? Oh, 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 no. Whoa, wait. What just happened? So that's he's gonna hit him. Is, there. He hit him. Oh, is it the inside lane again? Perhaps not, but no, no that wasn't. It's not over. Get it back. Denny got in there and wheel hopped. I don't think he meant for that to happen, but then he made contact with Tony. I think Tony was also pretty loose getting in there. Well, that, that was what happened to Tony lap before, you know, when he got loose into seven and that allowed Hamlin to close up. Hey, but... this thing's not over, guys. Watch oh. what happens into turn 11 in this heavy braking zone. Two more corners. Jeez. Hamlin trying to pull Tony's away. Close yeah. enough. I think Tony used up his stuff. I mean, we knew he was having, you know, issues Here we go. With the car. Uh, uh, uh. Stewart he's inside. Oh, he is there. there. Jeez. He they go side by. Oh, he's Stewart gone. Comes up, turn 11. Look at him. He's coming to the flag. How did that oh. How did that happen? Wait. Dude, he lost a massive lead there. He gets him. Not like, he, okay, he got bit, but beat by quite some distance after that not that he was like ahead of him by a big distance just, he just Stewart inside. He is there. He gets uh, and Stewart comes up, dude you gotta be smiling if you're Stewart, bro like if he you know you see how he was coming in on the inside there and the guy was on the out and they're obviously side by side and bro the outside is obviously close to what i, I don't know the, the the shield or whatever the track the pillar thing right and he just, he's close to it, and he just ends up going right into it. The momentum stops. Ah, oh, you'd be pissed if, is it Namlin? He is there. He yeah, you'd be pissed if you're Namlin, bro. <laughs> and Stewart comes up, turn 11. Look at him, he's coming to the flag. Oh, that's tough. Stewart, how did that happen? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Damn. Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's some good racing, man. Damn it. That's what he knows. <laughs> well, we got a little oh, loose. Look at this. Big Yikes. run. I think he's going to clear him the way he got this corner panel. He'll probably have Whoa. him cleared. Close. No, he doesn't. Hey. Look at Larson. Oh, he got him down. Sideways. He sucked him around. <laughs> he sucked him Two around. Two to go. Larson pinned him down to the bottom of the racetrack and Chase all this went around. And look who's coming. Jeez. How is he just man. whipped? This are these two on the same team? I only ask that because I can see that both their car makes is like Chevrolet. I think in Formula One, if I'm not mistaken, by the way, I don't watch Formula One like that. My brother's a big fan, but this is my understanding of it. If you like, there's not, there's pretty much each of every car, not each of every existing car brand, but like in this scenario, if these two are both Chevrolet, then they'd be on the same team if it was in Formula One, if that makes sense. So, like, are these two, for those that know, we fit like part of the same team, is pretty much what I'm asking. Jeez. This could get big. Yes, sir. It's going to be huge. Big run can he get Elliot. beside him and can he make it clear it? Don't go to the Jeez. inside. Go to the outside. There it is. He's going to get him right here. I think he's okay. Oh, he's got him. I think he might have him. He's got the momentum. Back. Don't run. Oh. Touch. Touch. They're sliding. They're sliding. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, my goodness. Right. So, okay. So, I just learned something there. So, pretty much, there's moments in which it's actually based. Uh, it's better to go within the outside lane. I'm not sure if the track itself has a certain curvature to it. Perhaps within those, like, those bends. And so if you're obviously to go on the outside, when you're coming back in, if the track is bent, then you gain more, men more momentum than the person within the inside. I think that might be the case as to why that, that car just kind of sped up a little bit there, but I want to see it again. Yeah, it does look a little bit bent. Yeah, I there think... He's going to get him right here. I think he's it got is. It's going to be a drag race to the line. Shit. Oh, yeah, it is a bit. He might have him. He's got the momentum. Don't run. They touch. They touch. Oh. But the thing is, it wasn't enough, though. But still, I'm learning. I'm happy. Oh, my God. Dude. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Oh, damn. Nice. Fucking hell. <laughs>
The amount of calls, bro. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. I need to hear that shit again. Come on. It's like... You know, you know, like if, uh, an orchestra, bro. What do I have? It's like a stick. I think you get the picture, right? Whatever God thing. You know, you know the dude orchestrating the choir or the people with instruments. I'm, with, I'm just gonna demonstrate that for us, um, <clears throat> ladies and gents. Listen up. One, two. Oh, that was sweet. That was sweet. Okay, I think I'm... Uh, apologies. Oh! Dude! Is that, is that the race? Dude, he just took off! God, Jesus. Oh, nice. I always want to see that again. Jeez. Look at that, dude. And then he just takes off. Nice. I, again, with me just seeing the, the amount of people here, bro, like, this is obviously popular for a reason. Like, it's not just cars going in a circle and then that's that. There's, there's, there's more to it. I mean, it's that. And there's obviously more to it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be so popular. People wouldn't be able to make a career out of it if it was just basic. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of getting, I'm, I'm realizing it as I'm watching it along at the moment. And it's really good, dude. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I mean, I got no hate for it. Shit. He realized that was a good move that last time. White flag. Here he goes. He's going to try to slide under him here. Come on, baby. And Blaney's coming. Damn. Both these cars are driving terrible right now. Serious? Nah, they're driving good. Which one is the commentators? Wait, forget what the commentators think. What do I think? Jesus Christ. I think this is a good race. It's a fucking great battle. Let's see who finishes in front, though. Whoa. <laughs> they Was that it? Oh, is someone going to come in? Yeah, but he is. Wait, is it already finished? Oh. Do you know what I was there thinking? I was like, did this card right here in the fucking yellow, did he just end up coming in and winning the race? Or well, these two were doing their battle, bro, over here? But I think they had finished before this car came in. But jeez, that, that's probably one of the most impressive battles we've seen um, throughout this whole reaction. And uh, it's, I suppose it's perfectly illustrated with it being that it's the last uh, clip within the video as well, right? So I just want to see that finish again. Shit. No, before that. There we go. Here he comes. He's got him this time. It's gonna be a drag race. Damn. Bro, they're smoking as well, bro. Nah, that was epic. That's epic. And the shit, bro, at the finish line, that's when the smoke comes out too, side by side. Bro, you'd have to go up after the, the race and even if you came second be like yo bro nah that was some good battling out there man ggs nah fantastic honestly i really enjoyed that um nascar i'm enjoying learning something new about um american culture to an extent you know this is I, i'm not sure if this primarily is within america uh the united states um or it's scattered uh, across the globe but i would argue with anyone in uh in saying that perhaps it's the most popular within the USA, hence why, like, I only know it from the USA, right? Makes a lot of sense. 
but yeah honestly it's great like i said it's no surprise that it's as popular as it is and i'm kind of i'm getting a feeling to why that is the case right now you know but yeah i really enjoyed that uh let me go know what you guys think and uh i'll catch you in the next one as simple as that take it easy peace